Bigger Bites digging again, back with another beer product review. And today we're going to talk about Alley Cat again. And today we're going to be talking about his beard wash and beard conditioner. So first of all, let me go with the presentation. This is the beard wash, and this is the beard conditioner. All right, so as you can see, how the the bottles look, the cap is actually on the bottom, so it's just like this. So I think that's a pretty cool idea to use these type of containers because it's going to sit like this and all, all the, the wash or conditioner is going to be always down at the bottom, easy to get out versus, you know, the kind that have just a little uh, top you squeeze and try to pour it out. And you're trying to get, when you get to the bottom, you're trying to, you know, shake it, try to get it down there. So this is, that's a really, really cool, uh, but you know, container to use for that because it's always going to be sitting down at the bottom. Now, when it comes to the 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 uh, part on here right here, it's actually a raised effect on here, so that's pretty cool. You know, you feel that the bumps and everything like that, so that's pretty cool. It's raised on here. Same with on the back has the ingredients and directions. It's all raised on here, so that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Cool feature right there. And also, right, actually has a a birth date on here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that too good, but there is actually a birth date on here. It's the date of birth 12, uh, 17, uh, 2021. So you know when it was made and you know about how long, you know, you can last. And so that's pretty cool. Just a kind of a reminder of, you know, when, when it was actually made. So that's actually a pretty cool feature as well. All right. So let's talk about the price. You get a eight ounce uh, beard wash for $21.98 and a eight ounce beard conditioner for uh, $19.98. And for the scent, as you can see, they're both in drift. That's another little feature you know, because one's in red, the beard wash is in red, conditioner's in blue. So when you have them right there in your shower together, you can just remember which one's which. You know, red's wash and blue is conditioner. All right, so the, the uh, scent is drift which is a driftwood and sea salt, sea salt essence, it says. And that's why I get it's very, very faint to me. I do get that essence of driftwood and sea salt, but it is very faint, so it's not gonna linger, you know, after the shower or anything like that. So that's definitely a good uh, feature as well on a beard wash and conditioner. That's not gonna linger on afterwards and mix with, you know, any other type of beard products you put it in later. All right, so now, when it comes to the actual fill and beard, uh, the beard wash definitely did a great job. Definitely kept my beard nice and clean. It did have a little bit of stripping properties, but it's not it's not overly stripping. Just, just you know, just a little bit. But that's you know that's how I like it. You know, I don't want to keep my products building up in my beard even after I wash it. So you do want to have a little bit of stripping there. So overall, it's definitely a really great beard wash. Like I said, I kept my beard nice and clean. So overall, I did a really great, really great job. Now, as for the beard conditioner, uh, the beard conditioner did not really work for me, but the caveat to that is about 80% of the beard conditioners I've tried just don't work for my beard. I've only had, you know, found a couple that actually do work for my beard, and unfortunately, this one right here did not work for me. Uh, but like I said, this is, this is my beard. You know, like I said, 80% of the ones I tried uh, just don't work for me. Because when I put this in my beard, you know, it didn't make my beard any softer, didn't do anything uh, special. Uh, matter of fact, it, it, it didn't really feel kind of a little bit dry afterwards. So uh, after I used conditioner, then, then of course later on, I put some beard products in and, you know, from, from Alley Cat. And when I did that, the products themselves did not feel like they were working like they should. So actually I had to uh, eventually just strip my beard again get rid of all the products, all the conditioner, just, you know, strip it down to bare bones. And then I started using the Alley Cut products again. And after that, that's when I truly saw the amazing effect of the Alley Cut, Alley Cat Beard Oil and Beard Butter. Definitely, those products definitely did a really great job. Of course, I do have a review on that and I will link it at the end of this video. All right, so like I said, and a recap, really great beard wash, Got, definitely kept my beard nice and clean. Has just a little bit of stripping properties uh, for me. And the beard conditioner uh, just didn't really work for me. Like I said, uh, didn't do a job of a beard conditioner is supposed to do. But then again, like I said, the caveat is 
pretty much almost 80 85 percent of the beer conditioners i try just don't do anything for my beer so uh that doesn't mean it's not gonna do anything for your beer so if you want to go try out these the beard wash conditioner i will have a link to his website and instagram in the in the uh description below so remember keep your beards healthy and until next video